Okay. Hey, hi, welcome to Karen and Johnny. We're gonna do it wrong. And uh, we've been asked, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Maybe you don't know what I mean. But you know, we, we, at, we get asked all the time that maybe we should do more videos together. So we really want to do this little show, Karen and Johnny do it raw, or Johnny and Karen do it raw, whatever you guys like. So today, Johnny is going to... Actually, yeah, I think this is going to be a great video because we're going to do a green juice. Everybody asks, what's a great recipe to start with? And we're using Karen's ancient green star juice. So we're going to actually see if it's it works. Ancient, you know, this is, this is before they knew, this was like the first model. Was that born yet? Did you think that was funny? Obviously. I, 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 <laughs> um, go ahead, keep you talking know, no, about No, this was, this, was, this was the end thing. It, you know, this was the twin auger. Because before that, everybody used a champion juicer, you know, with the single aug, the single thing. And then they came out with this, and this was the end thing. And I got one, and it was very expensive at the time. But this it's one still is the telling end thing. Me, well, it's still the end thing. This one is telling me that it's ancient, and it's ancient because it's still in thing. But does it look different than yours? Yeah, mine's much more modern. I mean, this look huh. it's like bronze, and like there's still dust. You can't even clean some of the dust <laughs> off this thing. But it, it's. Well, as long as it does the job, we're gonna we're gonna test it out and see. So we have antique equipment. I actually have an original wheatgrass juicer that I bought in 1970 something, and I actually had a friend paint it psychedelic. This was how long ago it was. So this look at this wheatgrass juicer. Well, this is just a real good professional. One. Here, I'm gonna actually zoom it in on the camera so everybody can see. Why not? See, he's just look at this. Fun of me today. No, this is this is that's a this pretty is sweet a wheatgrass real juicer. Serious juicing, okay. And up until I moved to this spot, I did four, five, six ounces of wheatgrass juice every day, and it will be starting again soon. So. Yeah. Karen's the one that got me hooked on uh, uh, wheatgrass. Yes. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic green juice recipe, so everybody at home He's watching... Gonna He's going to make it. Well, we're going we're gonna to talk He's about why. He's finally going to juice for me. You know, he comes here all the time. When we have different people in the restaurant, he brings them juice. He brings everything. Does he ever bring you juice? I bring you juice. He does not bring Are you. Are you ready to finally try <laughs> my juice? <laughs> as long as we're doing it wrong, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All okay. right. So, very simple. Ginger, apple, cucumber, lemon, kale, celery. And so often people go, well, why do I want to juice? Why don't I just eat the cucumbers, the kale, and the lemons? Well, first of all, who's going to sit down and eat not, all of this? Because we're not eating it. Right. And you know, most people aren't going to sit down and eat this amount every day. The other reason is it assimilates into your system so much easier. And you know how the body needs all this water? Well, this is organic water you're getting. The Structured body. water from the plants. Yes. So you can't do much better than that or any better than no. that. And then what we're going to do is we have some coconuts. I'm going to have Karen crack it and we're going to dilute a little coconut water uh, in the juice as well. And why? Uh, just to sweeten it up a little bit. Because I just learned that from you. I never to did coconut to water me, in my juice. To me, it's, 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 you know, added electrolytes, potassium, more minerals, and it's, it, makes it sweetens taste the juice too. Exactly. So, um, yeah, you want to add anything else about the ingredients? No, no, I don't. I, think I, I like the celery and cucumber because it's like, it, it produces a lot of uh, water. juice. Water, yeah, organic exactly. water, yes. And I'm not a big celery lover for juice, but you know what? We're going to try this juice. It's just the taste, you know, oh. I'm not in love, but it's so good for you and it helps to calm you down. And it's got orga uh, sodium, it's so good for the body. Healing to the GI tract, helps yeah. your gut restore hydrochloric acid so you can absorb some nutrients, so. Okay. Ginger. Oh, I love ginger. Wanna talk about ginger? Ginger, well, for those, those of us in Chicago, it's perfect because it helps heat the body up when it's cold. Oh yeah. So you throw a little ginger in your juice and you won't get as cold outside. Not that I do anyway, I kind of uh, morph into whatever the, temperature I'm in, which is the way we're supposed to be. You know, we're kind of like animals. We're supposed to be able to go from hot to cold and hot to cold without tons of clothes, but the ginger will help you stay warm. Yeah. And do you want to talk about this real quick before oh we my, get into it? Yeah, we're selling Rejuvalac. We're making it again. This is not my formula formulation. It's Dr. Ann Wigmore, who started the raw movement for us in our time, but it's a fermented drink a lactobacillus drink it's some good bacteria without having the cow secretions in it so it's a good bacteria for your body it's b12 for us vegans we need that it's a wonderful protein it will give you energy get you going and it's a good bacteria what's funny about the b12 is like i was working in a functional medicine office for the last year and 
you'd be surprised all the people on standard American diets that are B12 deficient because the animals aren't eating they're grass right. no more. Exactly. So they're not getting the B12 from the soil. They're eating corn. So they're deficient. I think we're... We oh, we're all more. deficient and they worry about just being vegan, but everybody like this. Everybody. You said. Everybody. Right. Okay, well, let's get this started. What do you think? Yes, I'm right. thirsty. All right, now we're going to oh, see if this works. Work. Please work. Please work. I'll never live it down if it doesn't. Is this just a wheatgrass juicer? I mean, because... No. Is there a reason you did the ginger first? Um, well, let's see if it... Uh-oh. It doesn't go through. See oh, that? you know what? Let's try this. Because this is what I used. Here. It works. He, it works. I fixed her juicer, juicer today. She hasn't used it and she said she needs a new juicer. Because it was broken and I was trying to... Well, when you buy a... When you have a 1920 juicer, of course. <laughs> So we're putting a lot of ginger in here, but it works. You're not making it look so easy though. No, I'm not. Well, this isn't an easy machine. <laughs> Mine was much more user friendly before. Hold on, let's stop this real quick. Should we use the other juicer? No, I think this is perfect. I, well, the twin auger, when the juice is made with the twin auger, they say it's good for hours after or up to a couple of days. A few days. Know? Yeah, you, you get two or three days because it's pressing the juice out instead of centrifugal where it's just pushing it out. Perfect. So the reason why you want to do the ginger first is so the ginger and then I normally do the greens next. So then everything else kind of water, Close. all the water kind of pushes everything through. So we did we did the ginger. And you put the peel in first, the crunchy part in first, yes. instead of the leaf first. Yes. Notice all these little things folks. Yeah. This is the juicing expert. Yes. Even though I bought expert. this machine when he was in the womb. I don't even so think I my must mom have known was born. something about juicing. I don't juicing. even think my mom was born when uh, she bought this juicer. <laughs> so yep. since it's so old, I think we have to do a little at a time. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be careful too, my finger can well, go in there. I think it always worked that way, I guess maybe. But you don't want them to go too fast then because no. it will oxidize, oxidize it. So right. this nice slow movement yeah. is what you want. Yeah, the slow your... movement, so we'll be here till next week <laughs> and we'll finally get our green juice. There you go. Beautiful. Are we making enough for both of us or just you? No, we're making enough because we got the coconut water too. That stretches. I, I'm like obsessed with coconuts. I bought, like I said, three boxes. Um, I just think it's, if I had to live on one food, it'd probably be coconut. So I have to tell you, um, years ago, Aris Latham, who's one of the greatest raw food chefs Arise. in the world, he introduced me in 1990 or 89, he introduced me to Young Green Coconuts. You couldn't buy them everywhere, there was no whole foods in either. And you could only get them in um, Asian markets. We, but we used to get a case of nine for $4.50. But anyway, the big thing with coconuts was, uh, Aris actually did a retreat in, in uh, Jamaica that we all went to, and we had to drink nine to 17 coconuts a day to flush the body, to heal the kidneys and everything. Yeah, it was the most amazing thing on the planet. And that's when I got introduced to coconuts. It was before they had all these neat little things. I actually went to the um, Army Navy store and bought a machete. <laughs> yeah. And my husband at the time came down, and I'm in the kitchen.